Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be unboxing this box. There's a board game inside. We're going to go take a look at it. All right, now, as always, I wanna send out a huge thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. You guys make this channel fully independent, fully honest, and I can't thank you enough for it. You guys make this sort of thing completely possible, so thank you. Additionally, thanks to all of you guys down there in the comments, either commenting or subscribing, liking, sharing, following the uh, Amazon link, merch store, any of that kind of stuff, pausing the ad blocker. You guys are awesome, you guys rock, and I'm very, very grateful. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and get to the actual game. Safety first. All right. Now, um, when it comes to prototypes, it's always, always so interesting to me. I don't know if it is to you guys, but for me, I just, I don't know. I, each one is so different, so different. I've gotten stuff in shoe boxes before um, and <laughs> in poker containers. I mean, it just, it's whatever. And then on top of that, this one actually came from another, uh, reviewer, another YouTuber. So I don't know what state they left it in or how much they played it or what they did with it. Or, um, it, so it, it's just interesting. It's always, it's always something different. It's always something kind of unique. And I think, I think it's a good way to, uh, figure out how, I guess, ready a Kickstarter is. So every now and then you get stuff that's like, you know what, you're just not ready for Kickstarter. This isn't even a game yet. And some, it's like, this game is done. You guys are done. So it just kind of depends. All right, so here we are. I'm going to go in here. Got some great packaging right off the bat. I wonder if they kept it, if it came this way, or if they went and got that. Either way, good job on the packaging. That's quite nice. And, as you can see, Hybris Disordered Cosmos. Let's go ahead and get to it. This actually looks to be in great condition. I I'm, I'm, wouldn't have even guessed it came from another another reviewer. I don't know if I'll keep it in the same condition. I guess we'll see. Let's move that out here. All right. Here it is. So I can tell you right off the bat, this is definitely a prototype box. Um, this is very, it, it even feels a little lumpy. There's kind of the, it's been glued on, right? And you can kind of see the, uh, the, the seam here where the line is and everything, but, uh, they got the sides. They, I mean, it, it, it looks nice. It looks nice. Let's check the back. The back is nothing but art, as you can see. All right, now one thing I like, and I don't know if this is a design they're gonna keep or not, but one thing I love um, is just how it's almost all art. This is pretty much just the the logo and art, and then a little symbol down here for Aurora Game Studio, which I think is great. And then on the side is where you get kind of the 12 plus one to four players, 45 minutes per player, perhaps. Um, so that's actually, I think, really cool. What I don't like per se is the the dimensions this is a very long box now it looks great but you can't stand this in a calyx shelf and uh, i really think calyx shelves are so commonplace that for the most part you want it to match what the normal consumer storage solution is and this um it, it can probably fit long ways like a deep i don't know this almost looks too deep and it'd poke out the back even so i'm not sure about the uh dimensions of it but it is very pretty Especially with the, the bright blue and the green, and then we got some oranges here. Well done, well done. I love the art. I actually really like the art. It was actually kind of fascinating because if you look at some of the early prototypes that they had that they were, were like bringing in cons and stuff, the art changed, and I much prefer this new art style, actually. Got some, uh, some <laughs> de de deflated bubble wrap, but you know, we got some bubble wrap here. All right, here is the rule book. Again, very interesting art. Uh, very much liking that. On the back, it looks like we got some icono iconography, which is great. Um, though it's not saying necessarily what they are, but it looks like there is quite a bit, but a lot of it's in resources and technologies and then a slight amount of characters. Um, prophet, god, hero, that's actually pretty easy to remember. You know, temple, like being this, being goodness, you know, sometimes they're easier to know than others. It's just like a greatness point is a omega symbol. So sometimes like prayers. Okay, well, that's obviously. Um, it's up to the well and from the well. 
yeah, I'm going to give this kind of a, a toss up when it comes to how easy it is to go from icon to uh, word. Like, I don't know if octagon means technology necessarily to me, but uh, linked. But if you know that, then the link inside of a technology, link technology, that I understand. So, you know, some good, some some uh, not so obvious. Okay, in the back here, we got a little bit about them and again, some more art. Great art, by the way. I always appreciate that. And no index. So this is how many pages is this? Uh, 29 pages and no index. So that is unfortunate. I'd always appreciate an index. Though if this isn't super finalized, I'm okay with it not having it yet. Obviously the final product is what matters. This looks great. Just seeing the example here with arrows pointing out every little bit of it in each step looks great. This is all full color. Um, I get stuff that's a Word document. I get stuff that's even just digital that they printed off real quick or didn't print off at all. And see, this looks like a <laughs> like a foreign language to me. Swords colon three Metroids plus cards going up swirly equals 75. I don't know, 42. Um, so <laughs> it looks like it's going to get maybe a little uh, little symbol heavy here. Uh, yeah, but I love all the symbols. I'm liking all the arrows and the numbers and listing it out. It looks like this is a good learning tool. Well, it's yet to see if this is a good lookup tool, but it's a good learning tool. Um, if you're part of the history with the hybris history with this prototype, do we sign our name somewhere? That'd be cool. <laughs> Um, love the printed out game contents. So when you're talking enhancement tiles, I know exactly what you mean by enhancement tiles. You mean these, which is super helpful. Um, it looks like the standees have different, uh, tops to them, which is helpful here. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think this, that's super useful. I really appreciate that too. Well, obviously a full review will tell us how much I like it after using it for a while. Okay. So we've got some cardboard here and I must say, even at this state, this is actually quite nice. It's um, sealed on the side. So it's not, you're not just touching like raw. You can see a little bit of like vent here. It's a little bit. That being said, the layer hasn't separated or anything like that. It's actually quite good. Um, it, it, like I said, it's just this, uh, it's, it's very compressed cardboard and then it's sealed all around, which is quite nice. Um, you can see a little bit perhaps of the, uh, the, the kind of textured part where the glue is. Um, that's fine. This isn't final. The coloration is also good too. So a lot of times, and I don't know how many people know this, but when you're printing stuff like this, getting the colors right is very hard. And normally it, it can often, like, I don't know about normal, but it can often take multiple prints to try and get just the right blue to show up on this. Um, and then keep just the right white or just the white gray or whatever. And so a lot of times you'll get a print, and you're like, this looks great, but it's slightly different. Just like how the different color gamuts on a screen can kind of change. Uh, when you're printing it, it just, the, all the little things can change and you can just shift the color a, a little bit too much one way or the other. Um, that's why sometimes in some prototypes I get the text is kind of hard to read. It's not quite bright enough or dark enough or whatever. Uh, this looks great. Now, I don't know exactly if this is the exact colors they're wanting. Maybe there's still some touch up, but for the most part, I'm liking this. Uh, this is slightly kind of, I mean, it, I can read it just fine, but it's definitely more hidden than any of the other um, writing here, which is very stark. This is not stark at all. Um, it's, it's visible. I see the alpha and the beta and the tree sapling why I don't I don't know what that one is man the art is great though on this I really do like this I, I'll I'll have to see if the cards are actually this size or not I always like it if they fit like perfectly in where they're supposed to go but uh yeah this is great and all the shapes I don't know if you've noticed but the shapes are like super unique like I don't know if it actually fits that way or not actually look at that it's not quite the same curve for better or worse unless it didn't yeah no um <laughs> I don't know if they care about that but all these unique shapes. I mean, <laughs> like, look at this one. Like, who, who makes a, a piece of game board like this? That's interesting. I'll have to see how it all goes. See how it goes like this. Okay. All right. So this is the underworld. It looks like you can resurrect a, a warrior or something or drain people of something or, you know, who knows what when you're putting people there. And then we got the workshop. I love the kind of technology and old school stuff. It's kind of like Aeon Trespass in that sense, but the art style is way different from Aeon Trespass, which again, I appreciate. But I like the kind of techno Greek stuff going on here. Very, very cool. I liked it in Aeon Trespass Odyssey. I like it here as well. Um, uh, again, just a conversion chart here. So uh, these prayers, you can change to different things here at uh, the Olympus. 
Uh, and then you have these ages here. Very cool. I, I'm digging all this. And again, all the interesting shapes. When it comes to the final game uh, storage solution, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do that. Look at... Okay, well, 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 we'll get to that. Let's lay this out here. Getting ahead of myself. Man, I haven't even looked at the miniatures yet. Uh, actually, I don't know if there are any miniatures in this one. If there are, you guys are going to be lucky. I know there are in the final game. I don't know if they have it for the prototype. They don't always. Okay, so here is a big board. It is quite big. Quite, quite big. Let's kind of turn that sideways so you guys can kind of see most of it here. A uh, little bit of ding here, but again, another person has used this and played it, and who knows how many uh, cons this has been to or anything like that. So it uh, doesn't quite go flat. Um, again, prototype, so I, I can't say... I can only say what's in front of me, obviously. And obviously this is not final card stock quality or cardboard quality. Uh, so I'm sure that'll improve there. Let's say, again, there's Athens and Argos and the mortal world and Sparta. Uh, is Sparta separate from the mortal world? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but there you are. Okay, and in the art, by the way, that like the on the land here, Again, I really dig. It looks like a different style than you get on, say, here, right? If you get here, it's uh, maybe a little bit more black lined and cartoony in here. It's a little bit more like a map. I'm fine with that with maps. I think maps actually look great when they're look like a hand-drawn map. Uh, so if you have Stonehenge here, I think that's uh, that's that's kind of cool. All right, so there's that. Fold that up, right? Okay, let's go back to this. Throw this there. And now we have, hello, here is Zeus board. Double layer already, which is fantastic. Beautiful art, I like that. I like how this lines up. Um, that can be a little hard to do. There you go, see now it's lined up for you. It does depend kind of on how you're looking at it. Sometimes it looks like that almost underwater effect where it's like jumped a little bit. And that's just part of the spacing there, but I think they did a good job there. I'm happy with it. And in fact, I'm okay with the art going off of the basic shape here. Um, uh, it's it's debatable, but I'm I'm okay with that. As long as it's just like that. Like if they was really coming off, I think it looks silly. But his little hologram scepter thing went on. It uh, looks like cubes go here. Looks like they fit quite well in there. I like that. Same with here and here. Let's say we have some resource pools here, um, and then some you know information here, and you get to do different things because it's all I believe quite asymmetrical. Now one thing I like about this, and I don't know, I haven't checked the Kickstarter, is if the dual layer boards are already unlocked, if they had to be unlocked, if they're natural, but either way, um, dual layer boards, especially when you have little tiny tokens and cubes, so, so helpful. And the fact that this is um, all artwork as well, and not just an overlay, is huge. Now, it's expensive. I, I've i actually talked to um, like Shadowborn Games, I've talked to Monolith and several others about dual layer boards, and it is definitely stretch goal worthy. It is uh, quite an expensive upgrade to get it custom shaped like this, to get it to fit everything, and then to get the artwork on top of it, not just have it like black or something like that. Uh, we're talking serious money into this and it looks nice and feels premium. I'm happy with it. Obviously in this one, you can see it's just two boards glued together. Um, again, prototype. But the artwork's all great. In this one, you actually are looking at the back of her, but then you see the reflection, so you still get to see her, which I think is a very interesting take. Now, I will say, I will say, and I just kind of noticed this, um, her background is much busier, and so it's slightly harder to read stuff, especially on the light colors like here. Now, I can still read this, but I can definitely read the bolded one much better than this. Um, and I noticed that they changed to black here because it's it's light here, and it looks like they're all light there, so they're all black. So at least it matches. Um, but there's, I don't know if this like box around it needs to be uh, maybe a smidge uh, less transparent, a little bit more opaque, um, because there is kind of a at least a box around this one, and then around this one, and this one, this one. I don't I don't know if there is a box. No, it looks like there's a box here. I can kind of see the line here. I would make that a little bit heavier. Uh, personal preference, just so that, you know, that's a little bit easier to read here. I'm assuming you guys can see that on the camera. Hopefully that works out well for you guys. Um, I don't know, what, what do you think? Uh, do you think that should change or not? Uh, again, this is the time to tell them feedback like this. So if you think so, let them know. If you think it's fine, you know, just call me an idiot. That's fine too. Okay, now here's Hades. Um, I thought Hades was a chick, but I think it's a dude with a very long ponytail. Um, not here to judge, I just didn't know. I thought they had kind of a... Uh, Ginger swapped him a little bit, which I thought was cool. I, I thought she looked cool. I guess he looks cool now instead. 
Um, and that, and I actually only know that because they used the word he, I think, with a few times describing him on the campaign. So his is kind of darker here, so it's easier to read. Um, so I, I tend to be pretty fine with that, um, you know, maybe with the win. Either way, I think maybe blocking that slightly more might be okay. Like I see there's actually a little bit of um, darker around it and then it gets lighter. Maybe make the whole thing that darker and that might actually do the trick. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Got Poseidon. He's uh, underwater. And... Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. I like it. I, again, the technology and the pipes and stuff like that. Very, very cool. Okay, player board's done. All the quarter board's done. Let's get into... <laughs> this is a ton of components. All right, I don't see miniatures, so I apologize for that. Looks like here we got metal cubes. Look at that. That's fun. That's fun. Let's see here. If, and again, I haven't looked at everything here. I mean, I guess I could real quick. It doesn't look like there's miniatures. If you want them to send me some of their miniatures early, I've seen some pictures of them. They look great. Uh, they mentioned a sculptor from Kingdom Death Monsters helping them out. I saw some of them. In fact, I'll put it on the screen right now. Just some of the miniatures that are either uh, unlocked or upcoming or in an expansion or something like that. I don't know where they're coming from per se. I just know they look really, really well designed. And I expect that if they're having that much care and effort into the sculpting process um, and that they're talking about it right now, that they will care enough to spend the money to actually make it look nice. So that's, that's really good. Um, these are actually metal and they feel quite nice. They're a little cool to the touch. Um, they're not too sharp or anything like that. Um, I don't know exactly what kind of storage solution this is, but they look great. And we got... Oh, no! <laughs> Purple gems. These are not the best gems I've ever seen, um, by far. So they got a lot of fraying here. A lot of the seams very strong here. And here now, obviously, again, I don't know how much these have been messed with or played with or anything like that. I've played my Conan game dozens and dozens and dozens of times, and they've uh, all, any any cubes and stuff like that haven't ended up uh, too frayed. So who knows exactly? Again, could be prototype. Um, they feel almost a little softer and more plasticky. So hopefully that's upgraded. Um, but I do like the color a lot, actually. Put that to the side. Oh. Got it. more metal cubes. That's heavy. More, more cubes in there. Let's see. More empty bags. Again, this has already been unboxed by somebody else at one point. Looks like we got some meeples. Let's look at that. Again, probably not final qu uh, quality here. They look plastic instead of wood. Let's take one of them out here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure this is not final quality. It's got like a nice, uh, Nice little circle here and seam line all the way down. Quite thick, actually. I don't know if they're going to be this thick in uh, uh, in wood, if they're going to do wood or not, but uh, <laughs> is what it is. Right, move those aside. Um, let's look, I guess, at... Let's look at some of these. Let's look at some of these. This is... Interesting. So it looks like each player, this is Poseidon. So he has kind of an e examples of Poseidon's stuff, the pearl necklace and Theseus and the trident, uh, the sea chariot, um, then a game phase kind of player aid card advices. I don't know what advices are. Uh, tip one, think technology. Tip two, think resources. Tip three, think combat. Tip four, think ahead. Think about everything. There, I saved you a whole bunch of tips. Uh, a little bit about him, so this is uh, what you would probably give a player to kind of decide, okay, who you're wanting to play, especially when uh, they're all kind of asymmetrical. That's kind of nice. I don't, I like that. Um, and some examples. And we have, it looks like a little tiny booklet for them, technologies booklet. More iconography on the back. This is interesting. I don't know how I necessarily feel about this. Is this kind of, maybe a cheat sheet it looks like, I guess? Does each player have this? Are they the same? Um, that'd be quite interesting if that's the case. I am not sure. Hmm, interesting. Um, it looks like it's pretty generic, so maybe everybody gets that little cheat sheet as well. And we're going to dump every this whole bag out, kind of see what a, one player gets. 
Definitely looks like a pretty busy, <laughs> a pretty busy game here. Um, okay, so move the cards here. I'm gonna separate maybe a little bit to kind of get a sense of how much of each you get. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six of these thingies, and you get some tokens of some kind. Looks like some buildings, maybe. I saw like the forge and stuff like that. You get some Monopoly building houses. That's fun. You get some cubes. You're obviously blue colored as Poseidon. That makes sense. You get some different cubes here. I don't know if these are actually going to end up being different. Sometimes you, they just give you what they can give you. Now this is one-sided. Now I will say right now that I hope this is double-sided in the final game. Uh, Single-sided tokens are a bane of my existence and I do not like them. Uh, because I always end up having to like flip them all over and all that. It just, it gets annoying, especially even with just this mini. Um, I want them all facing up. And so having them, unless there's a game mechanic about them being flipped over, I want them double sided, uh, if at all possible. So you get a whole bunch of pictures of you. There's another one in there. <laughs> and then it looks like you get um, some different uh, enhancement kind of pieces that you can do different things with. This is the pearl necklace. It uh, looks like you can either convert something or make something or you know, maybe put two of these in to get a warrior and then there's plus two victory, I don't know, victory points. We'll see what all that does. And then you get some cards here as well. Let's take a look at some of the cards. Uh, charge, Anticipation, God's Opposition. Wonderful art already in here. I don't know how much of it... It looks like there's like this one's in color and then this one's just drawn and it looks like a little bit more sketchy. So they're, they're in different processes of how done they are, but I like how nice and readable it is. Very small text, I will say that. Um, I don't know if that's really necessary. I think you could probably, um, yeah, I guess it depends. If you want it on this white part here, you might not be able to make it too much bigger. It depends on what the largest text one is. Um, but if, if at all possible, I think increasing that would help. My eyesight's pretty good as long as I got contacts in, but other people's definitely aren't. Especially if you're playing this and the other person's like, okay, what does that say? I don't even know what that does. Uh, the plus two is really big here, which is helpful, but there's like a symbol here, symbol here, symbol here, number, number, another symbol here, a kind of a keyword here, some more stuff here. There's a lot on these. Um, and so if other people, if other players need to know what that is, I definitely would like to see it increased, but. Anyway, uh, I think they look quite cool. And it looks like, it looks like, let me find out. Right size. So that's cool. I like that. All right. Now, because I've seen his, I'm not going to look at everybody else's. Um, if you wanted to see every single item in here, I'm sure they show it on the Kickstarter or you could watch somebody else's unboxing. I don't really care. I'm not going to look at, at each one unless I see different components. So like here's hers. Um, I guess I'll check the booklet here, but otherwise it looks the exact same style of stuff. Let's check the booklet here real quick. Just to make sure that's not unique. Technologies booklet. Um, this looks to be, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Okay. No, this is the same. So exact same thing. Just another cheat sheet, uh, another kind of, uh, example there. So everybody has their own copy. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Let's go and take the other characters out so they're not taking up space here. That's different. That's different. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like I'm just going to have to start looking at stuff here. Uh, here is... Athena, we'll move Athena out here. I think we are good. All right, lots of bags. Let's look at some of the, these technologies real quick. And I'll, I'm eyeing those big cards there, so we're gonna look at that. Oh, ooh, wow. Don't, I feel like I do that every unboxing, I really do. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, so we got dynamic sundial. Um, okay, so it looks like on the back here is a generic kind of picture and then some information. And then on the other side, it looks like what you're actually building. Let's go ahead and, um, okay, they all look the same. <laughs> so maybe, maybe not. I don't know what's going on here then. Are they all the same? It's just different. Okay, okay, so remember I saw this as well a whole bunch of times. So this is just like a surrounding walls and it shows a sword. I mean, it's not a surrounding wall. Don't know if that's a placeholder, if they'll have unique art or not. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but otherwise, I'm okay. It looks like you slot these in just like pretty much everything else and they allow you to do different actions like this one. You get to perform two gears 
and then your pots go into two flags and then also three pairs of hands. So good on that. Um, I would love, I've seen this done before. I don't know if it's possible, but it's food for thought. Um, when I got Titans, the entire board on the kind of peripheral, on like the outside of it, it showed all the symbols and what they meant and what each one did. And it was actually quite nice. It even had game rules, like here's step one, here's step two. Um, and I actually ended up really liking that. I thought that was great. And so I would love to see maybe something like that uh, just on the side of a board somewhere. It'd be kind of nice if you could do that. Now we'll say these look great from the back and I've already seen on the front and I must say that looks fantastic. Love it. Love him shouting at him. Love how big he is. Um, it looks like the art's repeated. I don't know if it's always going to be that way or not. So maybe these are all going to be the same. Maybe not. Uh, maybe they're different styles here. Here's Pandora's box and you get all, you get all sorts of oddities looks like coming out here. Um, it looks like at least these two. Okay, so I'm seeing a pattern here. So each one is kind of the backside of a dude going up against something kind of monstrous or big. So you got this one here. You got the backside portion of the dude looking up against the people there. And now here, again, you have kind of the backside view of a guy going up against a person there. Let's see if they keep that trend up because that's kind of interesting. No, this one's finally different. I do appreciate that. Those are all very similar styles of... Uh, uh, structure of an image. I like it. Just something I noticed. Okay, so we got this hyena thing. Sacrifice one of your people and who knows what happens there. Um, we get in search of the golden fleece, shadow of the Nyx. All of these are unique and this makes me think, this makes me think that these will eventually be unique as well. I'm assuming these are uh, placeholders of some kind. My assumption could be wrong, but considering all these are unique and the other ones aren't, that's what I would think. Again, the color, the artwork, fantastic. The kind of technology and then like uh, old style stuff like that looks like uh, Hercules, but Techno Hercules, which I'm all down for. Techno Hercules, this sounds freaking awesome. So love, love, love the artwork and style there. Very cool. All right, moving on, moving along. Let's look at, so again, each player has these. Normally you would have a miniature. I do not have any miniatures. I know it's very sad. Trust me, I'm crying internally right now. Um, let's go ahead and look at Poseidon again. Why not? Okay. Um, do we have Poseidon here himself? Because obviously, yes, we do. So he will eventually be a miniature and a very good looking miniature, I am sure. In the meantime, though, he still has a separate top. So it's a little bit easier to kind of distinguish him uh, just slightly. Actually, they look pretty close to uh, the other ones here. But slightly different, right? Because you got that little bit on the top. And you got their, their prophets, and then they're kind of, it looks like they get three named, like, almost officers. So you get that as well. Gosh, I mean, look at the design of these. These are fan-freaking-tastic is what these are. If they made all these miniatures, I would I would die a little bit. That would be fantastic. Um, I, I, would, I would pay premium for that. I really would. I don't know if that's in their plans or not. Oh, boy, if it was... They would have a contender that I would be hard pressed to avoid. Cause like Zeus is, I don't know if you've, again, I showed you some of the miniatures here, but Zeus has like all this electricity going around and all kinds of crazy crap. It is cool. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, looks like this is interesting cause here's some technology here. Here's some cards here and some general tokens. I don't know why these are separate. I think we're just about done here. I see uh, a few more tokens I want to look at, but otherwise. Okay, so this has a writing on the bottom instead of the top. I appreciate the difference there. Love the silhouette art style, by the way. It kind of reminds me of the old map from Ant Trespass Odyssey. I wonder how much they were inspired by that. I don't think inspiration's bad at all, mind you. Um, but these look, these, I actually really like these. I love the starkness. Um, the kind of brown gold, you know, kind of orange look to it all. 
Nyx, Goddess of the Night, Erebos, God of Void and Darkness. Yeah, these are all really, really good looking. Love it. Um, and I don't know again what these cards do versus the other cards, except that they look very pretty. We got some more uh, like kind of disc tokens here. Some more more cards. I didn't quite get to looks like numbered cards probably for different things. Uh, let's probably go there. All right, moving on, moving on. Didn't get uh, Zeus. Zeus's deck out. Okay, so here's everything we have left. Um, it looks like some of these should go either they're neutral or they're with somebody and they just didn't have theirs in there. Uh, and actually, these are just other players, I imagine. That's what I'm thinking. A lightning bolt. Yes, this is Zeus's. So this is the only other kind of deck I have, and I think this is a Jason Calypso. Whose is this? I do not know. Maybe I should. Achilles. You got a god in here? Yes, um. Cersei. Calypso. Odiphius. Are these like neutral people? I'm not I'm not actually quite sure what's going on there. Looks like maybe. Is this a different art style? Uh slightly. God's grace. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking Minotaur. Alright. Alright, so that is the unbox. That's everything, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I am sorry there weren't miniatures. Trust me, I am. Um, again, if you want them to show me some miniatures, you just let them know, and uh, I'm available. So I would definitely love to kind of take a look at these miniatures, because I think design-wise, they look fairly unique, uh, especially with like the electricity around Zeus and stuff like that. I get a sense of it's not just the character, it's a little bit around them too, which I really appreciate. We get like sculpted bases, but not necessarily stuff um, peripheral to them that still kind of uh, speaks to them as a character. I think that's a smart idea. Like I said, they have one of the sculptors from Kingdom Death Monster uh, working on some stuff that looked great. Uh, so really excited about that. Obviously, I'll cover it in the news, and obviously I'll be... Uh, reading that 29 page rule book without an index and uh, I'll let you guys know what I think about the game. If you appreciated this unboxing, if that helps you out, uh, be sure to like the video and all that. If you're interested in this in the uh, review and you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that. If you wanna hear about the news on the Kickstarter and you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. That's how YouTube knows how to show you stuff. Even then, sometimes it doesn't. The bell can kind of help, but sometimes YouTube just does what YouTube does. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get started on this because I'm actually pretty excited. It looks very unique. It looks quite different from most of the other things I cover. And so I'm excited to see if that's a good fit for me and for you guys. So I will let you know. All right, guys, well, that was my unboxing for the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to hearing what I have to say about the game proper in a review. I think that'll be kind of interesting. It's definitely a different game than I normally cover, so I'm interested to see if it's a good fit for me and therefore maybe a good fit for some of you guys as well. Either way, I'll let you know kind of what I think and why I think the way I think it. Um, I'd love to see some of the miniatures, so if you're interested in having me look at those for you guys as well, just let them know. I'm sure they'd be more than willing to send them my way uh, once they're ready so that you guys can kind of see and I can kind of critique them and show them off a little bit. Uh, because the design-wise, I think it's very fascinating. Like the Zeus model with all the electricity around them, often we get just the, the miniature and either anything attached to them, so what they're using as a weapon or something like that. And nowadays, a lot of times we actually get a sculpted base as well, which is fantastic because you can get a lot more dynamic sculpts that way when you can control what it's stepping on. Um, but getting stuff around it like that with electricity and stuff is not something you see a lot of. Uh, which I think is quite exciting and quite cool. And that's just one of them, and a lot of them are quite unique, and they have a sitting miniature. Again, any time miniature sitting, I'm fascinated by it. It doesn't happen very often, and to make that dynamic or interesting and cool is actually kind of hard, and so uh, I'd love to take a look at that. Very excited about the theme, though, for sure. I think it, it definitely speaks to me. At least I like it a lot. Um, so we're really looking forward to that next, uh, later this week, I guess I'll have a long overdue news video for you guys. There's some upcoming stuff, both this month and next month that I'll be mentioning mainly because I want you to know about kind of what's coming up even, uh, in a month, a month from now, just so you guys know what's around the corner when you go to back, whatever it is you guys are backing now. Uh, if you want to see any of that, whether it's the review or the miniature unboxing or the news stuff or anything like that, and you're not subscribed, 
I would consider subscribing just because YouTube is a very fickle thing. And what I've noticed recently is if I get on a tangent on YouTube, it starts recommending me that stuff that I just happened to watch instead of the stuff I've watched for years. So that's kind of annoying. Even the bell icon only works some of the time, but it certainly does help. So if you're interested in that, be sure to do that. That might help a little bit for you guys. And as always, thanks so much for staying with me. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found this video helpful. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care. Have a great rest of your week.